going on, Swill Gang? Welcome back for another episode of Last Fortress Underground. All right, so of course you guys know we are doing another Hero Spotlight. Now, the reason why I'm doing these is because they are very important. And the reason why they're important is so you guys can actually know what you guys have in your lineups. Not just to read, you know, the skills and everything to you guys. Things like that. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help each and every one of us learn. Because like I said, it does help me out as well. And if this is the first time you guys have joined the Swill Entertainment channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Join the Discord as well, guys. I'm working on it right now. It's, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, but go ahead and join up. Give up some tips. You know, we got admins I'm giving out, things like that that can help build the, the server so we can have a community, not just for this game, but other games that we all play as well. All right. So without further ado, let's get into her skills. All right. So first skill, and she is a four skill hero. Not that she's bad or anything like that. It's just that she got short change on the assembly line. And that's pretty much it. All right. But she's a bullhead. She's a tank, guys. Gatherer, tough wall. Okay. Keep that in mind. So first skill. All right. It's called Axe Cut. Deals 280% weapon damage to one enemy. All right. And that level up effect goes from 168% all the way to 280%. Next skill. Tough resistance. All right, and that goes, uh, let's see, it's called, goes 10% weapon damage mitigation. All right, weapon damage mitigation goes from 5% all the way to 10%. All right, and then when gathering, oh, should, uh, next one is called brute force. When gathering, troop load plus 14%. All right, and the load goes from 10% all the way to 20%. All right, so keep in mind, she is a gatherer. She's like a hybrid tank, basically, a hybrid character, if you will. Okay, next skill is called Mountain Splitting Axe. All right, casting axe cut deals an additional 80% weapon damage. Damage goes from 40 to 80%. Okay, all right, so keep in mind these first skills and sec uh, fourth skills go hand in hand. Okay, so if you, you know, if you want to level any skills up first, you want to make sure at least you level up the first and the fourth skill, level all of them but at least those two first, okay, as much as you can. All right, so let's go ahead and get into her gear. All right, now she's very, very, um, like I said, she's a hybrid character, so she's very special when it comes to what types of gear you can put on her. You can experiment, and I'm experimenting right now. I rarely use this character on my main account, but this is an experimental account. Well, not experimental account. This is my fixer upper account, which it could very well easy be my, my main account now, the way it is. But looking at her, her gear, depending on what season you guys are in if you're in season zero you know you got different options you can use and if you looked at her weapon or her first skill it's weapon damage so let's let you know that of course you're gonna put anything with strength on her okay um you can throw reaper on her if you want okay she's not really a huge damage dealer but she's not that bad she's not huge tank but she's really not that bad as well um so what you're gonna really put on her you can either put castle on her you can put three pieces of castle on her you could put um, four pieces of cap, but what I tend to use on her is Apocalypse, okay? I use Apocalypse, well, not in season zero, but season zero, I use um, the castle gear until I move into season one. Once you transition to season one, you I would definitely use Apocalypse on her. That's what I use. Um, you can use two piece cop Apocalypse or two piece uh, castle, or you can even use two piece Reaper, mix and mingle, things like that. But you want to make sure you get those set bonuses that come along with those um, pieces of gear. All right. When it comes to season two, I don't think I really change much. You can throw on tough wall, but she's not really a like a. I honestly won't think she's like a tank for herself, like a main tank. But you can throw it on her. And then, so of course, season three, you can throw on that good old alpha bless. Just make sure you throw alpha bless on one character on your lineup. Don't throw alpha bless on every character because it doesn't mix and mingle. What well, doesn't stack basically. All right, so that's what we do. That's what I do for her gear. Now, when it comes to her lineups and things like that, I would definitely put her with her wilding um, companions, but you can mix and mingle her however you want. Um, if you want to just use her for your lineup for gathering, make sure she's in there because she's going to give you that bonus when it comes to um, for gathering. That four, mine's 14% right now. All right, so here it is. When gathering troop load, all right, 
you can max yours out. I mean, I may max this out at some point, but I may, I, I try to focus on maxing her out. And then I start getting the skills and everything like that. Um, I don't have all the gear for her. So, of course, you see the little two red dots. Um, but she can go in any lineup to, you know, supplement what you have. Because you may not have Harmon. Because I, at first, I don't get Harmon. Harmon's a little bit harder to get when you, you know, you're rolling for him. So, I usually get Irma first. So, she's pretty easy to get, basically. So, use what you have. Rolling, for me, was hard to get. Didn't, you know, that kind of thing like that. And I did do a lot of mixing and mingling with my characters. All right. So... A main tank, you can try to make her a main tank, but she's really not that much. She's not that tanky. Um, she's more of a, she does more damage than she does mitigation. Okay. Mitigation is pretty okay, but she is a really good character though. Honestly, she is a good character. I don't want to sit there and talk, down talk her, but honestly, they should probably take that, that gathering thing out. I would rather see gathering come out and maybe put another skill in there or throw a fifth skill on her or something like that, but I'm pretty sure they won't do that. But yeah, hopefully this does help you guys out for the most part. Um, but if it does help you guys out at some point, make sure you guys drop a like on the channel supports the channel so much. And be sure to join the Discord channel, guys. Def definitely want to love to see you guys there. If you guys have questions, of course, you can reach out to me here on YouTube. I try to get to the comments as fast as I can. But if you want something quicker, well, I'm not gonna say quicker, but you want some other alternative, Discord is the way to go, guys. But thanks so much for um, supporting the channel. See you on the next one.